Okay, this is an embedding machine. This is where the wax is kept. In here, we have a compartment where the molds are kept. Then we have a warm area where the tissue from the processor is put in. And it will be in cassettes. There is also a warm area to the cold area. There is a little spout where the wax comes out. Now we will show you how to put a piece of tissue in a mold so that it will be ready for the microtome. You take the cassette out. You will open it with your forceps gently to find the tissue. Make sure you check your lid so that no tissue is on there. Then you will pick out the proper mold size for the size of the tissue. You will put a little bit of wax from the wax spigot in the mold and let it set on the warm part of the surface. You will place your tissue in correct orientation in the mold and making sure that it is flat, you will pull it over onto the cold part and tamp it down to assure that it is flat on the bottom. Then you take the bottom of the cassette, push it down on the mold, make sure that it's in securely, fill it to the top of the cassette, and set it over on the cold area. It will set on the cold area until the wax is solid. Then you will take the cassette out and it will be ready for the microtome. Once the cassette is cold on the cold plate, you will test it by touching it to see if it is cold all the way through. If you try to take it off before, it will tear up the other side. When it is totally cold, you can pick up your mold, use a paring knife, pop it, and it will come right out. There is your, your finished set ready for the microtome. That is just another step in histology. Okay, this is how you take off the excess wax off of the cassette when after you have pulled it out of the mold. This is a de-waxer. Not all labs have these. And you just rub it up and down. And it will take the excess off. You cannot leave excess on the cassette because then it will not fit properly in the microtome. This is an example of a double layered cassette. This is what you don't want to see. The wax crack. That means that the wax got too cold before you put the lid on and finished filling it up. This also has an air bubble in it right there. You don't want that because when you work with a microtome, it is going to break off possibly. This is another example of the double layers that you don't want to see because in the microtome that whole piece can come off. This is an example of a good outcome. Once you take it out of the cassette, this is what it should look like. No double layers. Tissue is centered. The orientation is right. This was a piece of tissue that had a lumen in it. It is 
embedded correctly.